before before I came here tonight before I came here tonight I prayed and I want everybody to hear this I prayed for these people down here I prayed for these people in this hotel the people in these condominiums I even prayed for the police and I said Lord I know that you told me you said that if they reject the message that I am to leave if they call the police then I am to leave and never return and I prayed so hard and I said Lord give these people a chance because I know that you are you are angry with the way that they have been living you are angry with the sin that you see them commit every single day and I said Lord work in the hearts and minds of those who are here tonight do not let them call the police and I asked the Lord I said Lord if they ended up calling the police give me some time to talk to them give me some time to warn them give me one more chance give me one more chance to give them your word and I believe with all my heart that God heard my prayer and he gave that chance and someone here decided that it was just the last result to call the police they don't know what they just did they don't know what they just did what they just did was push away the last person that was going to come to preach the gospel here the first time that I came here to and the first time someone came up to me and said no one has never came here before to tell us about Jesus I want every single person here tonight to know God sent someone God sent me to speak to you you said in your heart we don't want God so I want to let that person know that called the police I want to let you know you pulled that trigger but God in his mercy in his love he's still giving you a time chance right now he's still giving you an opportunity to turn to him and before I leave this location before I leave here I want to give anyone here I want to give one last time do you want Jesus in your life I have Bibles here I can tell you all about Jesus and how you must be saved I can pray for you I can do all these things but I'm telling you ladies and gentlemen every nation that has rejected Christ every every person every person they were met with judgment that judgment is coming ladies and gentlemen it doesn't matter how much money you have it doesn't matter your social status that judgment is coming I plead with the people here tonight I plead with you now call out to Jesus call out to Jesus I don't come here to be seen by men to make a name for myself I come delivering a message from heaven call out to Jesus Christ before you take your last breath God bless you and I love you I'm leaving don't worry about it I'm leaving not bothering us, bro. I know I know it's not us, uh... I know I know God already told me the Lord already told me he said when they call the police leave no I get it I, I mean I know what you're trying to do you let me give you some information no I don't need your info as long as you uh... The only thing is, oh, what do you got there? It's a little, it's a little uh, track for you, a little book. Um, I pass out. Yeah, the thing is around this area. Arch, uh -huh. Oh my God, what do you got there? Yeah. Arts Mountain uh, owns this property, so if they if they get com uh, complaints, you know, we got to come out. That's basically it. Okay. Um, okay. But I understand what you're doing, and you have a right to do that. Um, yes. Um, but that's the only thing. My heart breaks for these people. They it, it's it really a little, does. You know what it is? That those, like you said, you were saying about the condos that. People are, you know, home and stuff and eating and 
if it's loud, I think it's more the the the, 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 set, the you know that's loud, you know, yeah. the volume. Uh, no one's arguing about the the message. Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do yeah. with that. I think well, well that's volume. that's what the enemy hides behind. That's what he hides behind. He says it's too loud. And if I was here preaching about vaccines, preaching about face masks, preaching about social media, preaching about everything that they see on TV, preaching for the Democrats, preaching for the Republicans, preaching for political, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. They would never call. Uh, you know what? I don't they would have never I, called. I, I know we did get calls. Like, were you here last week and uh, by the ferry terminal? I was by the ferry terminal. Yeah, you were. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Some yeah, the, Josh. Some, yeah, came. some people. Some Remember, people you know who Josh yeah, is, yeah, right? Josh. He works. He works for me. He he is he working tonight? Not tonight, though. Tell him I was here. Tell him Yokus was here. Okay. You I know. Got you. Listen, I respect what you're doing. However, some some people, it's I it, not all. It's not all about the message. I think it's more the the, the volume. Yeah. Because it is loud. We we heard it. We I actually heard it down there, and it the echoes. You know. So I think that's what it is, and I get it. Well, you know, you know I come bearing the good news that Jesus saves. He loves them and they called and the lord told me when when the police Sorry. wow yeah <laughs> my radio is not that loud <laughs> so you the lord to anyone or no? yeah i have okay. someone i keep in contact with right. and i let them know what's going on i'm a, I'm a soldier for christ I'm, I'm part of the soldiers for christ global community church let me just turn this white there you go it's my information right there Yokus? Yes, Yokus Bassarelli. Bassarelli. Yes. Cut your hair? Yes. Actually, I'm getting a new ID because <laughs> my haircut. Um, are you are you wrapping up? Or you yes. Yes, I'm leaving. Just I'm, so I let I'm them leaving. know how long or whatever. I, I... No, I gotta leave. The Lord told me as soon as the police come. Okay. Where are you, you park parked? Or? You parked in the lot? Or? No. Okay. No. Just be careful with the private property parking. Oh yes, yes, you know? most most definitely. Uh, but yeah, if you could pack up, that'd be great. You yes. Know, if you want, definitely. you can hang out, but it's just, I think it was the noise, so security called us, so it's not us, all right? They, they don't want to hear the gospel, because I got the same response over there. I know that it's not necessarily about how loud my voice is, because I was at this location a couple of days ago, and they did not call the police at all. But it was a different message that I brought to the people. Now... This message was more geared towards repentance, getting right with God, letting you know that what you are doing is not right. And that type of message is sharp. So when I was there last time, same location, same same area, same tone, they did not call the police. And I believe that God was restraining the evil in the area at that time. Now the Lord told me, if they do call the police, be done be done and this is not a good this is not good for the people this is not good at all because they're pushing away the gospel of christ they're pushing away the news the information of salvation they're pushing it away do we stop praying for them no we continue to pray for these people but they're on a broad road that leads to destruction. So they don't want to hear the gospel. It's the cu and you know, culture and religion over here. Yes. It, it's definitely a mix, so. Yes. I'm just looking at my stuff behind me. I don't know why it's still. No, no, it's pretty good over Because rich folks, poor folks, all folks steal. <laughs> all right, man. So, well, have a good day. Have you too, man. Night, all right? God bless oh, you in Jesus' right. name. Right. Enjoy okay. that book. You will love that book, okay? Right. Nice God bless you. you. Tell Josh I said hello. Will do. All right, come over here and help me with my stuff, please. Lord, have mercy on these people. Have mercy on them, Lord Jesus. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to forgive them. Forgive them for what they have done. Forgive them, Lord Jesus. Forgive them. Forgive them. We come preaching the gospel, and they rejected it. 
no such thing as the gospel being too loud because the good news can never be too loud. Very nice service you did. I was listening up there. Oh, you really was? Yeah, yeah. Here, sir. Take one, please. No, 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 I'm okay. I'm, I, have, I have a Bible, so. Oh, thank you. God Amen. bless you, bro. God bless you. Thank yeah. you so much. God bless you. Thank you. And the people collectively don't want to listen. There's always bad things to come after that. It could be years. It could be months. Yeah. But you, you remember every time a set of people rejected what God said, destruction always came. Plagues, uh -huh. diseases. That's what we're trying to warn them about.